Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to another episode in my profession series. Haven't done one of these for a while, but we have two professions left. So we're going to complete those the next week. And today we're talking about tailoring. As always with Legion Professions, you don't need to have any level of tailoring. You just have to go to the tailoring trainer in Dalaran, do all the quests, which take you about half an hour to an hour. And then you're ready to go, really. The only things that need anything are the Legendary, which requires 800, and the new 885 gear, which you get from the... Not Broken Shore. Sure. Where'd you get it? From Argus. And guess what? I haven't done Argus on this character because I've done those quests too many times and I can't be bothered to do it again. So I would say there are three aspects of tailoring that can make you big golds probably more but we'll talk about three that is the legion recipes so the legion gear then we have the old world gear like transmog gear and then we have the bags big part of tailoring is the bags especially the hex weave bags so first of all we will talk about the legion gear as with all legion gear this sells really well there's a lot of cloth casters obviously and it doesn't require much, it all basically requires imbued silk weave, which you get from the normal Shadori silk plus the Arcanar. Luckily it makes 10 at once, so you don't have to spend ages and ages making this. And as an item to sell, it actually does sell. Like If it's profitable, like for example here, I get 27 gold per one, probably because I make about 2 gold per, look, yeah I do cost 970 to make and I sell it for 1240 so I make just over two gold per or for 10 I make just over 20 gold or 27 gold so that is something I can sell on the auction house and obviously if you sell in stacks of 100 sell in stacks of 200 you'll get even more than that but that's not a really a big thing uh, not many people buy it it's a lot more useful just to craft it and then use those to make the recipes uh, Again, these are hugely profitable. If we look here at the epaulets, they sell really, really well. And grafting cost is literally 100 gold if you ignore the blood of Sargeras. Uh, it's 4 Arcanar, which is 60 gold, and 6 Imbued Silkweed, which is 60 gold. So it costs about 100 gold to make these. And they sell for 3,600. Uh, obviously, you need two bloods. And I price my bloods at 400 gold each, so that's why it's saying it's 900 gold crafting cost. But whatever, as long as you have the bloods, you can make really nice profits from all of these. And then if you get lucky with the stats, especially if you get a uh, all crit, all haste, all mastery, something like that, they'll sell even better. And th these aren't even rank three. In fact, I don't think I have rank three of any of these. Okay, I've no none of the new gear. I've got either rank one or rank twos. So um. If you can get rank 3s, the profit's going to be looking even better. Then there are the cloaks. These are also some big gold makers. Why? Well, they sell really nicely. Uh, they're kind of cool. They, I think each one looks a bit different, or maybe not. Yeah, each one looks different, so you can choose whichever kind of one you like. So they can be a sort of transmog piece. But they're also the only crafted cloak in the game. Uh, so if you are looking for a cloak, then these are the ones for you. And the profit's really nice, up to 10k, uh, sometimes less. Uh, basically depends on the stats again. Finally, we have the best sort of shuffle that's out there, and that is the silk weave braces. Now, I'll just make 12 of these to show you. But... As we say, each one costs around 40 to 50 gold. Depends on the price of the silk, really. But each one costs 9 silk when you have the rank 3, and you really want to get the rank 3. So always be looking for the uh, world quest that gives you rank 3 silk weave braces, because people go crazy when that thing's up, because a lot of people just spend all their time doing this. So you want to send those over to your enchanter slash disenchanter and get disenchanting them. Each one basically turns into one Leylight Shard, but you can proc the occasional Crystal and the occasional Blood of Sargeras as well. Uh, there's lots of spreadsheets about this, just check if it's profitable on your server. 
then you can also turn those Leylight Shards into Arcanar. And anyway, this is the general sort of shuffle. So that's about it for the Legion kind of crafting, but it's also worth talking about the old world crafts. Now some of these can sell really nicely. Uh, one sort of shuffle you can do is just to make the bolts of frost weave, bolts of whatever that you make from a uh, specific cloth. For example, let's see if we can find them. Bolts of. So you can simply make bolts of ember silk by you know, five ember silk make a bolt. The bolts are used for crafting. People are often way too lazy to do this themselves, so they'll just buy the bolts from the auction house and then you can shuffle them into a nice profit. Uh, similar stuff with like even weave and moon shroud, they can sell really well. Um, what else have we got? You know, all these bolts basically will sell, so you can just make a load of them in your spare time. Put a load up on the auction house and the rest you can turn into the old world kind of gear. Again, the kind of frost savage gear. Where are the uh, robes? The robes sell pretty nice. Like moon shroud robe, 0.0.03, which is a pretty good for a uh, for a transmog. Same with this. So all these robes do sell because they look half decent. Uh, this bad boy is selling for 10k. Uh, profits again it's like a kind of cool green one uh, you guys get the picture all of it sells and you just want to get these up on your auction house and just leave them there like any piece of transmog and it's just free profits uh, kind of slow to sell but still kind of free profits I don't forget this is the only profession that can make the cloaks and any class can wear any cloak so they have a lot better potential for buyers than most other pieces. And then obviously we've got stuff like the flying carpets. They do sell, but you have to have tailoring to learn them. So if someone does have a tailor, they will sometimes just buy it themselves because there's a lot of things to make them. They often can't be bothered, but don't expect these to sell very well. Uh, I mean, like 0.14 is a pretty good sale rate, but... You're not going to make a killing from these, but they will sell still. So the hex sweep bag is kind of the other big profit maker for tailors. Why? Because it's the largest slot bag still. It's from Warlords of Draenor, but it's still the largest, along with the other silk weave bag, but that costs more to make usually. So this one generally sells better. It's selling for two and a half thousand on my server at the moment. And all it costs are 10 sorcerous earth, which are usually nothing about 10 gold. So that's about 100 gold. And then a hundred hex weave cloth. Now it's the hex weave cloth, which is a bit difficult to get, but I'll show you guys a few ways to get it. First of all, there is a daily cooldown each day, which requires twenty sumptuous fur and ten gorgon fly trap. So each gorgon fly trap is about two gold, and each sumptuous fur is about you know three gold usually. So that's what eighty gold to make eight hex weave, or about ten gold per hex weave but you can only do that once per day to uh to get your eight but actually i got 20 there why did i get 20 because you can get more based on your tailoring skill and i have 800 so there we go i just got 20 hex weave so every five days or so i could make myself a hex weave bag However, what you can also do is get a tailoring emporium at your garrison. I know it's not very nice to go back to the garrison, but if you're a tailor, you kind of have to every few days. Now, you can place work orders here for more hex weave cloth. Oh, I've got a few here, so there we go. I just picked up another sort of 80. Now, all this requires for each one is five sumptuous fur, so it's really nothing. You just want to make sure this is filled up all the time because it's always going to be profitable. And that is the second way to get hex weave. As you can see, it's been kind of slow so far. You can only produce a certain amount a day, but there is another way. Now, each day in your order hall, not order hall, whatever this is, your garrison hall, you have a chance to get a trader there. And this trader will give you primal spirits for a certain material. Usually they'll offer a daily quest to give you 25 primal spirits. 
just for 50 of a material that's definitely worthwhile at the moment I've got mirrored in bronze beard here he does uh, raid quests sadly but tomorrow I should have another one hopefully the uh, fur trader Dorothy as that's how you can just trade in some sumptuous fur which is really cheap and you get a nice lot of primal spirits then what you want to do is come to this vendor here here you can trade in primal spirit for hex weave cloth so if you get enough uh, materials when the vendors up you can just get them a load of materials you can buy said materials from the trading post over there with garrison resources so basically you get garrison resources you buy the materials from the trading post you then go and hand in the materials to the primal spirit vendor and then you go to the primal spirit trader and buy the hex weave cloth a little bit of a annoyance but if you just do that every few days when it's profitable uh, you'll always have enough to make the hex weave bags a final option perhaps the easiest is wait until Dorothy again the fur trader is up and instead of just buying the uh, spirits you can buy a recipe this primal weaving recipe will let you turn 10 uh, sumptuous fur and one primal spirit into two hex weave cloth now this is going to be the best way to get yourself hex weave cloth so if you do have this recipe if you just do wait until the fur trader shows up in your garrison again I recently got tailoring on this guy so I do not have this but that's the basic shuffle you want to go to your trading post I'm gonna buy myself what like 400 of these because it's a good way to spend my resources I then got 400 of those I can then buy with 60 fur the primal weaving when the vendor is up I then want to buy a load of primal spirits from that same vendor at the cost of five sumptuous furs and I then want to do my primal weaving at the cost of one primal spirit and ten sumptuous furs and that will get me two hex weave cloths so there you go if you're doing your daily craft if you're doing your profession hall at your garrison the tailoring emporium whatever it's called and if you're doing your shuffling of mats to primal spirits two hex weave cloth that you can do either with the recipe you buy or at the primal spirit vendor those three things are going to get you enough sumptuous fur and a enough hex weave cloth to make the hex weave bags and they do give you a real nice profit they do sell really really quickly and that is another way a lot of people make a lot of gold with tailoring but there you go guys sorry if this video is a bit long but i wanted to kind of go into detail of the ways that you can make profits it's just the same as any other profession really you want to do as much legion crafting as possible because it's generally all profitable even if you don't have rank threes you then want to make the profitable old world transmogs and just get them selling on the auction house they sell slowly but they do sell and then finally you want to make sure you're doing your hex weave bags uh, with the little three aspects we just spoke about and that will get you a nice bit of profit as well but that's it for this video guys stay tuned for engineering that'll be my final one and yeah till next time see ya